the resource of the day is a game called Bowling for Fractions from Ophia's Activity Counts resource. Today, I will be showing some variations on how to play this game in face-to-face -face environments or virtual learning platforms. The math focus for this activity is appropriate for junior grade students and involves fractions from the number strand of the math curriculum. Today, we will be looking at a set model of fractions, meaning the whole is understood to be a set of 10 objects and the subset of the whole make up the fractional parts. By knocking down different objects from a set, learners will describe the fractional parts of the set based on how many objects remain standing from the whole set and how many objects have fallen from the whole set. Before we get started, let's go over the safety considerations. For face-to-face -face learning, ensure that you have visited OFIA's Physical Activity Safety Standards in Education to review the COVID-19 considerations for physical activity. For virtual learning, make sure that the space where the movement activity is to take place is large enough for the number of learners and required movements. Make sure that the surface where the movement activity is to take place is a non-slip surface and make sure that the space is free of obstacles. For the equipment in the game Bowling for Fractions, you will need to create a playing area for each learner. You can use any space, big or small. Collect 10 plastic bottles, cups, containers, bowling pins or anything that can stand and be knocked down without breaking. You can mix and match the objects to play. You will also need a soft ball or an object resembling a ball, like a rolled up sock, stuffed toy, or a small pillow. The object of the game Bowling for Fractions is to knock down the objects by throwing something at them and then naming the fractional parts that have been knocked over when bowling with a set of 10 items. Today, we will be describing the fractional set that remains standing from a set of 10, for example, 4 tenths. We will also be describing the fractional set that has been knocked over, for example, 6 tenths. In each video, you will see a different attempt at knocking down the 10 pins. Below each video are the annotations of the fractional sets modeled in the video. While attempting to knock down the objects, you can explore different throws, including an underhand roll, overhand throws, and throwing backwards. For each attempt at knocking over the items, the learner can explore a different standing position, including balancing on one leg or standing backwards to throw through the legs. You can even incorporate Ophia's 50 fitness activity cards as an exploration activity by having the learners complete different movements, such as mounted climbers, before throwing the ball. Here are some variations of ways to play the game Bowling for Fractions. Try to balance in a pose from Ophia's Yoga Alphabet cards, such as a goddess pose or a warrior pose, while throwing the object towards the pins. You could use stretches challenging your flexibility by playing in different seated positions, such as a straddle, while throwing or rolling the ball. Changing the location to an outdoor space or modifying the equipment you use are other fun and easy ways to vary the game. Try it out and don't forget to share your successes by tagging at Ophia Canada.